Hey friends, welcome back to Beer and Beauty. It's Kasha. Today's libation of the day is... Oh, have I featured this on this channel before? I think I have. Uh, I'm already here, so we're gonna do this again. Is a wine from Josh Brand. And I've talked about this wine before on this channel because there's often coupons on Ibotta with this wine and it's good so I keep buying it because it's, I it's really good and it's at a good price point so cheers to that let's give it a taste I've had this open for a little while so I think it's time to get this bottle finished and luckily luckily I only have a little bit left to go but it's still very good dry a little bit fruity a little bit of a cranberry but like not too deep of a taste, just, just, I don't know. Just like a very straightforward classic Merlot. I dig it. Cheers. T the main reason we're here today is because I'm unboxing my June Boxy Charm, which is a Boxy Lux. So big and so beautiful. Hooray. <laughs> um, it's, it hasn't been too long since I posted one of these, but you know. Um, I like to try to get these up as soon as, as soon as possible so we can host yet another giveaway. I just contacted the winner of the last giveaway yesterday, um, and I'm going to be sending out the prize tomorrow, hopefully. But now there's going to be a new giveaway out of this box right here. So if you'd like to see what I got in my June box charm, or my boxy Lux, and if you'd like to perhaps enter the giveaway for a chance to win some skincare and or makeup, uh, stick around. All right, here we go. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's inside. So the first thing that we got inside the box is um, our title card. This month's theme is The Oasis. Ooh. So we got some hotel stuff, like a fuzzy blanket. Actually, I have a blanket just like that on my bed which is behind this backdrop and you can't see it, but yeah, this reminds me of a hotel. I don't really actually fully get what the theme is. I think it's like summertime, hotel, vacation. I think that's the, more or less the theme. And for those of you guys that don't know, before I get into what's actually inside the box, what is Box the Charm? It's a subscription box and and there's several different tiers of them. This is like the highest tier. This is the Boxy Lux, which is a seasonal subscription box that comes around um, seasonally, um, once every three months, I believe. And you pay fifty dollars um, fifty dollars for the seasonal box, and it has eight or more products inside. It has a retail value of over three hundred dollars. And, but you only pay fifty dollars. Uh, so that's what I have in front of me. I really love the boxy luxes. They've never really let me down. And I've taken a peek inside. And this is another really good one. Um, I actually had a hard time deciding what I was gonna choose as the giveaway item because I always choose an item as the giveaway item in my boxy charm unbox. Um, because I kind of liked everything that was in here. But I, I think I have an idea of what I'd like to give away. So, um, without further ado, let me go ahead and show you the first thing that's probably the least exciting thing to me, but I think I'm going to keep it. I'm not sure yet, though. Um, this is a two-pack of lip pencils from the brand Bodyography. Um, I'm going to keep these because I go through lip pencils in my kit a lot, even though I'm not doing a ton of makeup right now. I'm doing some like really small, intimate weddings. I say some, I've done one, and I, then I've done like one graduation makeup. I almost did like a court like tattoo cover thing the other day, but that ended up falling through. But uh, for now, I don't have any other makeup in the books. But you know, this too shall pass. One day I'm going to return to makeup art artistry, so I'm going to hold on to these lip pencils. I'm going to try them out. And there's this is actually a pack of two. And they're like nice little nude colors, like one of them's like a vampire uh, burgundy kind of color, one of them's more nude. I actually really think the nude one would be really cool. The It's in the shade Pouty, and then this like burgundy one, this reminds me of MAC Chicory, it's called Rosewood. It's like a brownish 
kind of red, burgundy kind of color. Since I'm going to hold on to them, I'll go ahead and swatch them and see what they look like. Hmm. Ah, I see, I can tell from the texture. That actually is a really lovely color. That probably would look really nice on my lips right now. You know what? Let's put it on my lips. Wow. <laughs> I just realized that I haven't done lip liner on myself in so long, so it's not coming out super, like, clean and nice. But it is a lovely color. I actually really love this color, and um, I really like the texture. It's, like, not too soft, not too hard. It, like, it's that perfect texture that, like, is, is you can tell that it's going to last well, and it's going to really define the lips nicely. Um, but it's not going to be messy and hard to control. So, um, I like that and I really love this color and this is just like a lovely nude color and perhaps together they would even be fun too. Yeah, this is, this seems like a perfect like mauve pink kind of peachy kind of color. I'd actually, I, I'm glad I decided to keep these because these seem like really nice lip pencils. So I'm going to hold on to those. Good colors, like really... Uh, well thought out colors and that's pretty exciting and that the Bodyography lip pencils are $28 value ooh they say they've got vitamin E in them with coconut oil that's interesting yeah they're really pigmented but I don't actually they don't feel super moisturizing but that's probably because my new lipstick that I'm wearing right now is pretty moisturizing on its own um, comparatively, this seems like a, like a drier formula, but that's actually good for a lip pencil because, like I said, it uh, gives you more control, so that's pretty cool. That's like a pretty high value product now, now that I'm seeing um, the numbers here, so yeah, really cool. Like, the, like that a lot. Let's see what's next. The next thing I really noticed inside this box was... And I don't remember if this is something that I chose because you're allowed to choose like you're allowed to choose a thing or two each month from the box. Like they give you like a, a like a choice of two or three items that you can pick from. And I think I might have chosen this just because I I don't know, I'm getting into like homemade skincare and uh, just the set I don't know. It's just something that I don't have a lot of. I don't have a lot of uh, essential oils around just because I don't you like to wear them because they irritate my skin, but they're great for aromatherapy. And this is the Eco Modern Essentials Essential Oil Duo. And this is the Goddess Duo. So apparently these are two like women's inspired essential oil scents. Let's see what it says here. Eco Modern Goddess Duo. Treat yourself to a luxurious aro aromatic self-care ritual. Take time to replenish every day and let yourself be soothed by the benefits of aromatherapy. Diffuse throughout the day, blend with a carrier to use as a natural perfume or add a few drops to your bath to unwind. And the there's two scents here. There's like this pink one, which is called Women's Blend. It's hard to get like a sense of what this is supposed to smell like. It's pretty musky. Um, it says here it's got lavandula oil. Lavender oil, lian, lian oil, some cedrus bark. So there's like, there's elements of like a smokiness to it, but I definitely feel the lavender a little bit, but it's not like a straight lavender scent. This is really interesting. I feel like that would be really pleasant inside like a diffuser or something. And I do have a diffuser. I need to break out and like use a little bit. But the one I really like is this other one, is the Calm and De-Stress Essential Oil Blend. This one's like more citrusy. Um, I have like a calming essential oil, it's the one essential oil that I have. My sister got it for me. But this one's a little bit more fruity. The other one's a little bit more like lemongrassy, a little bit more like herbal smelling. This one's more like oranges, sweet orange. Yeah, that's what it smells like. It smells like sweet orange, which I rather like. I like that. Um, so that's really cool to have some high quality essential oils to diffuse and possibly use as a fragrance inside of a body butter or something of like a scrub or even like a bath bomb or something like that. That could be fun. It's a $40 value. Okay. 
Is that normal, you guys? I'm not, I don't, I don't know much about essential oils, so I don't know if that's like crazy expensive or if that's normal, but yeah, that's most, oh, that's almost the value of the box for this one little item. And, um, you know, I do understand that like there's like different tiers of essential oils. You can get like cheap ones that aren't so good and then there's like the fancy more expensive ones but damn I just think that that seems like a lot $20 for, for this little baby bottle of essential oil I would never buy it of course but I'm happy to have it and um, I do enjoy the scent so I think these would be really fun to play around with so you know what um, I think it'd be fun to make some bath bombs with this like women's one um, and they even suggest themselves to put a couple drops into a bath, so I think it would be a perfect thing to use to make bath bombs with and fragrance those bath bombs. Uh, moving on, here's another thing that I thought was pretty cool. I haven't been using like eye skincare a lot lately, like eye creams lately, just because I've just... Um, I, I packed an eye cream with me when I went to Massachusetts in May. And it's still in my travel bag. I just haven't taken it out. I've just been using moisturizer in my eye area because it's really not that different. You just gotta like use less, you know? Uh, I thought about possibly putting this into my giveaway because I have an eye cream that I like that I have going right now, but I haven't even used eye cream lately. And then I have a backup of eye cream from a different BoxyCharm. So I thought uh, maybe I won't try this, but I don't know. I think I will because there's some pretty interesting ingredients in here and it seems like it will be like nice in the summertime like it'll be like refreshing and cooling so what this is is the Tula skincare Gl glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm looks like this it's an eye cream that has probiotics and superfoods in it um, oh the packaging is adorable it's like kind of reminds me of drug elephants packaging it's like this like airtight kind of pump Ooh, I feel like that, that you would apply this by like just like touching it up against your orbital bone. That's really interesting. Yeah, this seems like a really dynamic, ingenuitive product. Uh, let's see what it says here. This eye balm stick delivers a lift from within, lit from within glow while instantly hydrating, cooling, and filling in fine lines around the eyes. You'll feel awake with this eye balm and look, look refreshed and energized so you can glow and get it. And this is a $28 value. So that's not super expensive for an eye cream. That's actually a really good pr uh, price for an eye cream, but it's got apple and watermelon to hydrate with. It's got caffeine to brighten with and probiotics to help lock in moisture. That's what it says, at least on the side of the box, uh, package. So. That's really interesting. I feel like that would be fun to play around with and try out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, Tula. This is the next most exciting thing to me, I think, in the box. This is a Malin and Goats Recovery Treatment Oil. Looks like this. The packaging seems pretty like clinical. It seems like a really, like I love a treatment oil. I love oils so much. Ooh, this looks so fancy and clinical. I, I wish you could see the way I see it from the light because um, all my lights, all my lighting equipment is like making it shine through. So it's like got this like beautiful blue um, see-through thing going on. But yeah, this is a fast, fast absorbing treatment oil and I love oils. I love to add them to some of my body um, oils and creams depending on what kind of ingredients I like to add to it. These are... And these oils tend to be like super high quality. Malin and Goat's Recovery Treatment Oil. This botanical oil treatment absorbs quickly to nourish skin and help improve appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Evening primrose, argan, and jojoba oils help boost hydration. Grapeseed and roasted oils deliver vitamin C and E to help improve skin tone. Geranium and barrage oils help balance skin, suitable for all skin types, including sensitive. $82 value. Okay, so that is expensive. That's expensive. Um, and those ingredients sound incredible, actually. Geranium oil is a very expensive oil, so I think um, using that in this formulation is a big part of why this is so expensive. So there's the vitamin C, there's the, the roasted vinaigrette seed, primrose and argan and jojoba. 
alone, they, those oils wouldn't be too expensive, but I bet like they probably wanted to have high quality oils in here. So they sourced, uh, you know, putting them all together. You know, I'm really curious to see what the texture is like. I just have to feel it. Oh, it's nice and clear. So that's cool. I'll just put a little drop on the back of my hand. So it seems like it's going to be really fast absorbing. Oh, yeah, it's like a nice oil. It like totally made the lip liner like disappear. Uh, yeah, I, I love the texture. It has a little bit of a greasy fit feeling at first, but then it just sinks into your skin so nicely. And I'm just going to love this. I know it. And um, our fast absorbing treatment synthesizes a blend of nine and antioxidant rich oils that nourish and hydrate to help address the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I think I'm gonna love this. Like I love like I love the texture. I love the ingredients um, and the way that they are together and I love oils in general. And this just seems like a good one. I feel like it's just gonna be really fun to add to my body butters and just to use as a treatment oil on my face. I might even use this right tonight. And, you know, I have uh, the Kiehl's, like, nighttime recovery oil, and I don't like that one as much because it's got so many essential oils. This one does not appear to have any essential oils. I feel like this might be what that oil should have been. Like, this is, like, that oil, but, like, done right. And I can't wait to see what it does for my skin. Hooray! $82. So expensive. So I'm definitely going to keep that. I'm really excited about that, actually. Okay, so this is kind of exciting. We'll see how much I like it. But this is actually coming to me at a good time because I'm almost out of my it Cosmetics CC Cream that I've been using forever as, like, my, like, summertime travel foundation. Like, that's the one I always bring traveling with me. Almost out of it, and this one is coming to me as a at a perfect time and it's a BB cream from Pure Elise and it's SPF 30 it looks like this it's called the perfect glow I do believe I've heard people talk about this and how it's good but I guess I won't know until I try it says it's oil free moisturizing natural looking coverage matte meets glowy finish I feel like that's gonna be right up my alley I feel like that'd be perfect for the summertime and I love a, like a BB cream in the summertime because it protects you from the sun and uh, it just looks natural, uh, looks beautiful. Like it's just like a great summertime look to wear like a BB or CC cream like this. I've tried Pure Elise products before and it's been like ups and downs. Like I've li really liked certain products of theirs and then I, I didn't care for others. But I feel like, I don't know, I have a good feeling about this. I feel like this is going to work in and this is... It's a $35 value. That's pretty expensive, but pretty good. Um, and yeah, complexion perfection for a gorgeous matte meets dewy finish. Your multitasking beauty balm glides on like a tinted moisturizer with all the age-defying coverage and sunscreen benefits of a foundation and BB cream. So yeah, I can't wait to try that out. And I feel like I'm going to get some good use out of it because I'm almost out of my CC cream. So if, if I like it, hopefully I like it because then I'll use it. Yeah, moving on. This was super exciting. I get like a brush set in Boxy Luxes like all the freaking time, but I never, I can never get enough brush sets. And this actually seems like it might be a pretty good one. Like I haven't like played with these that much, but this is a brush set obviously from the brand, from the brand Billion Dollar Brows. And it's the charcoal five piece brush set. This vegan, cruelty-free, and synthetic brushes are charcoal-infused for an antibacterial effect, allowing for flawless makeup and eyeshadow application. So yeah, it's just like an antibacterial, or like a charcoal brush set. I've never had a charcoal brush set, but I know Sephora, when I worked there, had like a charcoal line. They seem like really soft brushes, like pretty good quality. I'm just feeling them against my face a little bit. So we got like a powder brush, like an angled brush of sorts. But what do they call these? This is the powder brush, this is a contour brush. Can I ever use this as a contour brush? I don't know, maybe, actually. In the right situation, perhaps. Oh, I love this. Um, I love this, like, like a small, stubby, like, crease brush like this. This seems like the perfect amount of, like, like, give, but still 
pretty sturdy, like springs back into place. So I love that in a brush, in an eye brush especially. Ooh, there's no artificial dyes in here, so that's actually really nice because I hate when I shampoo my brushes and the dyes run. Sometimes that happens when I shampoo my brushes. This seems like a really lovely concealer brush that I'm, that I'm pretty excited about. Then we got one more. It's like a shader brush. We'll just like pack on shadows with this. So this seems like a really nice brush set. It says it's professional quality. And I'm pretty pumped about it. Like, um, they're very stylish looking. They're very luxe. And I feel like these would be fun to have in a kit. It would be nice to have those there. And that is a $55 value, which is, I think, a pretty fair price for a brush set like this. It seems like these are pretty quality brushes. This, uh, honestly, the powder brush seems a little bit weird. Um, I'd like my powder brushes to be a little bit fluffier than this, but it, you know, in a pinch, it will work. I don't know. If I knew more about this brand, I might even buy like a brush like brush set like this. But nonetheless, I think these are nice quality brushes. I can't wait to use them some more, and I'm glad to have them in the box. And I think um, fifty-five dollars is a fair price tag for like a brush set like this based on first impressions alone. Okay, next item in the box. This is the Tarte Tarties Pro palette. And you guys, I coveted this palette for so long. The point that I got the like bad habit like knockoff or the Oakland knockoff and I ended up passing it on to a friend. But here it is in my life now. One of the first hints of color that like Tarte ever put out in a palette. And I wanted this so bad. I wanted the to see what the Amazon Amazonian clay formula looked like. This looks this is so beautiful. You know, I had the colors in here in the Ocalon palette for a little while and I almost never used it even though like the formula was pretty good. And these colors are just so normal. They're just so I mean, they could be very utilitarian. Freaking car, car alarms going off all the time. It looks beautiful. Looks like I could really use these colors a lot. Like, um, and I love how each row is like a look. The color that I think I was most attracted to is this like shifting color, but I have so many colors that are like that in my collection. So I just don't know. I might pass this on to a friend. It could be a gift. It could be maybe even sell it on Poshmark. I just don't know, but it's just crazy because I, I wanted this so badly for so long and uh, the magic has fleeted. It's gone. I might use it once and then give it to a friend, get my, get it out of my system, but it's just crazy how times have changed. Like this is just not a color story that I'm, I need, you know, like I have my neutral palettes that I love and I don't know. This is a very neutral palette. There's a little bit of pizzazz in there, but not much. Um, and it smells like chocolate, which is fun and nice, but um, just not the same, like too much time has passed like since this palette came out. I think this palette came out like three years ago and the magic has just kind of faded for it, but it's just crazy because I coveted this palette for so long. It's crazy how things can change. Um, and that is a $49 value, almost the value of the box. And the last item in this box, and this is today's giveaway item, and this is actually kind of an exciting thing. This is the Kylie Skin Foamy Foaming Face Cleanser. That's right. It's the Kylie Jenner skincare brand, and it's their foam, foaming cleanser, and I'm not going to use this anytime soon because I recently got a foaming cleanser in a BoxyCharm. So I just don't see myself using this anytime soon, but it seems really cute. Like... And, oh, it's got vitamin C and E, kiwi seed oil. I feel like it would be a really nice cleanser, but like I said, I have a foaming cleanser going right now. I just got one in a box of charm not that long ago, and I just don't need one. So this is going to be the giveaway item. So if anybody watching this video would like to win this skincare item from Kylie Skin, it is a $24 value. It's a luxurious foaming face wash infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity. This gentle formula cleanses skin by helping to remove dirt, oil, and makeup for a fresh, bright complexion. 
yeah, if you're interested in winning this item, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, the, I'll be linked down below, I have two Instagram accounts, you have to follow both. All the rules will be down below in the description as well in case I'm talking too fast or um, if you're new here and you don't know how this, how this goes, but it always goes the same way. And then leave a comment down below letting me know that you've entered and attach, let me know your Instagram handle because the way that I reach out to the winner is by DMing you on Instagram in a week or two. So if you're interested in winning, um, I hope you join the giveaway. I hope you enter the giveaway. Usually not too many people enter, so your odds of winning something are good. And, and, and if you don't win this one, stick around until next month and stay tuned for the next giveaway. I have a new giveaway every month on this channel, so stick around and check that out. Uh, but that is it, guys. Um, let's go ahead and tally up the totals, actually, before I go. So the retail value of everything inside the box was $341, which is pretty good. I'm pretty excited about almost everything inside the box. I think this is a really good box. Box Alexis always are good. I'm really excited about the oil, the brush set. The palette was really interesting to get. Uh, I'm interested in trying the BB cream and the essential oils. Like, this is a fun box. Like, I'm really satisfied with everything in here, so I'm super happy. I can't wait till the next Boxy Lux. I can't wait till the next Boxy Charm. And I can't wait to see you again in the next video. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Check out my description box below for some of my re most recent videos and my homemade skincare and links to Ibotta and links to BoxyCharm in case you want to like sign up. Um, but that is all, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I really enjoyed hanging out with you. And until next time, I gotta re up. Cheers. Bye! Ooh! How much did I just this? Is this better? Yes. I'll finish my water.